Huawei is celebrating 15 years in Jamaica and they just opened their brand new flagship location right here on Hope Road in Kingston. Let's go check it out. So Huawei is actually planning to launch some really cool initiatives in Jamaica for their 15th anniversary. Let's join CEO of Carrier Business Group Huawei Jamaica, Neil Grant, in the virtual studio to learn more. Hi, Neil. Great to see you and happy birthday to Huawei. Hi, Kalila. Nice to see you as well. So Huawei has been operating in Jamaica for 15 years. What brought this company here to this little Caribbean island in the first place? Um, interestingly, in the Caribbean region or in Latin America region, we do a lot of business with a phone company called Claro, which many persons may remember actually mm -hmm. came to Jamaica for a brief while. So in that engagement, they actually brought us or asked us to build that network for them here in Jamaica in 2007. That really brought us to the shores of Jamaica. That long ago, 2007. Yes, I remember the Claro Haiti indeed. So what services does Huawei offer here? Primarily, we are a partner to the telephone operators. We build networks primarily, that's our core business, building mobile networks, fiber networks, persons familiar with, let's say, Digicel Play and their TV services. And typically when you make a call in Jamaica, maybe there's a 60% chance, 60, 65% chance that you're using a Huawei network to actually make those cell phone calls. That's what we have been doing. Um, and we have resell in our branch out into um, delivering solar technology to Jamaica as well. Interesting. I remember hearing about that. I think last year I did an interview with uh, with one of your executives there at Huawei, and he was telling me about the developments into solar that you were pursuing. Indeed, I didn't know that sixty five percent of you know that involvement that you just mentioned with the telephone companies, that goes directly mm -hmm. through Huawei. Most people probably are more familiar with the, you know, the devices that you sell. Yes. Do you also sell devices here? Uh, we used to sell devices here, um, primarily through the operators. Um, we have scaled back a bit in terms of um, cell phones, but we are planning to come back to market. We have a new array of products as well. Uh, which persons buy on the grey market. But we are planning to come back to Jamaica um, in terms of uh, consumer products such as earbuds, tablets, uh, cell phones, smartwatches, etc. So we are, we, are, we are doing a lot of things um, in the consumer space and we are coming back to Jamaica soon. The camera on the Huawei phones is like revolutionary. It's mind-blowing that all this can be in a camera. You think other brands have amazing cameras? The Huawei camera. Like, wow, it, yeah, it really it is, is special. Amazing. The camera and the battery are really special uh, feature of the Huawei phone. Others do have, you know, good quality of cameras these days as well, but we like to think of ourselves as having the best cameras in cell phones. So how many people do you employ here? Currently, we have about 50 employees in the Huawei Jamaica office. We started with six back in 2007. We're up to 50 employees on a permanent basis of about 80% of which are local employees. And indirectly, we employ about 300 Jamaicans in the ICT space um, indirectly. That's amazing. What do you think has, uh, what could you attribute to the continued success of this company growing from six to 50? If I would boil it down to one of our core values, which is, you know, being always customer centric. Um, so the work we've done with our partners here, the products and the solutions we provide, we are a leading manufacturer having an end-to-end -end solution portfolio. And currently we rank number one in all the major areas in which, you know, telephone operators are served. So I think we bring distinct value. Also, I think we are one of the only major entities to have set up shop like this um, in, in country. And that's another strategy of ours, wherever we operate, um, we tend to have a heavy footprint um, so that we can be right there beside our customers um, every single day. That's true. I don't see your competitors setting up shop here in Jamaica. You're absolutely right. So that does give you the advantage of having the boots on the ground right here. And speaking of boots on the ground and setting up shop, you recently opened a new flagship location on Hope Road in Kingston. So tell us about your new location. Well, a new location, 97 Hope Road. We acquired this building back in February of this year. We have renovated to the tune of about $300 million dollars to get it ready to create a modern environment, a smart building as well with a very low carbon footprint. It's over 9,000 square feet, 
And what it does is allows us to do more with the space, allows us to grow and, um, you know, and offer different services to our clients. So we, we have everything here from very interactive smart rooms, smart meeting rooms and exhibition uh, showcase as well. So the space is right size for us at the moment and allows us a little bit of growth and, um, and permanency in, in, in country. So uh, it's a nice space. The staff has been very comfortable. Customers who are visitors are also quite impressed with the location. So we think we've made the right move by you know, acquiring this space. That's great. So apart from your involvement in ICT, which is the core business, of course, is Huawei involved in any other social partnerships? Absolutely. Kalila, that's um, you know, one of our one of our um strategic initiatives around the world is that wherever we we are in about 170 countries around the world, and wherever we operate, we want to make sure that we are good corporate citizens. I believe in 2017 we launched our Seeds for the Future program, which is an exchange of we take the best of the ICT talents from UTech and UE, um, where we have MOUs with. And, you know, pre-pandemic, they would go off to China for a few weeks um, to, to be exposed to some of, you know, the, the, the leading technology out there. 2019, we further launched our internship programs. And in 2020, we went further to establish what we call an ICT Talent Hub. That initiative is, again, with the universities, various scholarships, and, um, you know, building out of certain labs and so on for them. And just recently in our in our launch, um, we announced that we are far along the way with Heart Academy to um, do a series of technician training for Jamaicans as well. So short answer is yes, and we continue to support government and education and so on with the donation of tablets, interactive boards, and so on. So we believe that you know training is a key to getting the, 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 the digital economy revved up. And so we've been playing our part um in, in in contributing to the society in that way that's really great especially hearing what you're doing doing for education and for young people so what are your plans to celebrate the 15th anniversary here you know recently we had our, our opening so that event would have been you know the highlight of of what we're doing to celebrate that we've also been announcing new partnerships as i mentioned with the Heart Trust and also some, some donations were made also to the Ministry of Education for some digital education materials. I'm very interested to hear some more about your Idea Hub as well. What's that? Our Idea Hub is a smart interactive board. This is a tool that we use to collaborate globally. It has several uh, use cases. It's heavily used also in some jurisdictions in terms of education, remote health care, this kind of a thing. But it's a general collaborative tool which allows, um, you know, it's a 4K, 4K camera, um, sound, intelligent sound. Um, as I said, it's you're able to mark up and share and uh, basically collaborate, um, you know, with, with other persons using any of the, the normal tools today, such as, you know, Zoom or Teams or anything like that. So it's a, it's a hard product. Um, it's available, I believe, in uh, 85 inches, 65 inches, um, and it's portable, which can, you know, can move from room to room, um, Wi-Fi connected. So it's a, very, it's a very nifty tool in terms of, you know, business collaboration and definitely for the purposes of like education and so on. We have brought that to market and we have been also donating a few, selling a few. That's a, a very nifty product that came out for us during the pandemic, which has allowed us to collaborate. As you mentioned donations, you are also donating some of these for your 15th anniversary, yes? Absolutely. We've been donating 15 units to, to celebrate our, uh, in line with our 15th anniversary to the edu uh, Ministry of Education. Nice. Very wonderful. That should help them with uh, digital education. And that's become a, a really important element lately, especially since COVID-19. So going forward, what are the plans for Huawei in Jamaica? Kalina, the plans are to continue doing, doing more. Uh, we, we, you know, in Jamaica, we, have, we still have a ways to go in terms of our digital connectivity and bridging that divide. Uh, we'll be playing our part along with the, 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 uh, the our partners, the operators, in terms of uh, bringing cutting edge solutions to the Jamaican um, population. We'll continue to support the government and the development of the ICT talents in Jamaica. 
and basically contributing to a greener, um, smarter Jamaica ultimately, um, you know, through the delivery of you know our various products and solutions. So, um, what this does say though is that we are we are we are here for the long term, and we look forward to serving the people and our customers and partners, um, you know, with with the best of the technology. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you, Kalila. It was a pleasure. So Huawei Jamaica is doing big things and we're excited to see what they do next. Visit my website, kalilorenals.com for a summary of this video. Let's get this money.